turn to Judges 14, 1 and 2. And then Romans 8 and 31. Stand to your feet. Turn to Judges 14, 1 and 2. And then Romans 8 and 31. And Samson went down to Taman and saw a woman in Taman of the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Taman of the daughters of the Philistines. Now therefore get her for me to wife. Then his father and his mother said unto him, there is never a woman among the daughters of my brethren or among all my people that thou goest to take a wife and an uncircumcised Philistine. And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleases me well. Down to the 15th verse of the same chapter. And it came to pass on the seventh day, and they said unto Samson's wife, wife, entice my husband, that he may declare unto us the riddles, lest we burn thee thy father's house with fire. Have you called us to take that we have it? Not so. And Samson's wife wept before him and said, Thou dost but hate me, and lovest me not. Thou but put a riddle unto the children of my people, as now have told me, and he said. And the 14th verse of the 15th chapter of Judges, and the 15th verse. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him, and the Spirit of the Lord mightily upon him, and his cords that they were upon his arms became a flex that was burnt with fire, and his bands loosed from off his hands. 15th verse of the 15th chapter of Judges. And he found a new jawbone of an ass, and put forth his hand, and took it, and slew thousands men therewith. Romans 8 and 31. And the Bible says, What shall we then say to these things. If God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. I was to leave a subject today. It would be if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. If God be for us, church, who can be against us? Amen. And Samson went down to Tamar and saw a woman in Tamar of the daughter of the Philistine. The story you know as Samson, he was a God-chosen child from birth. He wasn't supposed to have a razor to his head, and he wasn't supposed to drink, drink any strong drinks. And he wasn't supposed to marry uh, no other girl but of his own country. So, as Satan, I mean, as Samson began to grow into a man, and as his seven locks began to grow, hallelujah, his hair began to hang down his back, hallelujah, and he began to have great strength. And the Bible goes to tell us that when Samson, hallelujah, went down to Timnath, Timnath, and saw this woman of the Philistines. He warned her and he told his mother and father to get her. Hallelujah. And they got her because he was of age. He was no more than a little boy. Yes. And he knew what he wanted. Even though she wasn't of that culture and she was from a different country, he wanted her. And as the story began to tell us, that when he wanted her, hallelujah, this woman laid with his best friend yes, that he married. Yes, good story. And when she laid with his best friend, uh -huh. 
Hallelujah. He was in such a rut. Yes, he yes. was so mad that uh -huh. he took, hallelujah, foxes. Listen to me good. Yes, he did. And he tied the tail of these foxes. Hallelujah. Put fire in between these foxes. Mm -hmm. And he made these foxes run through the cornfield and destroy all the cornfield and the stock of the Philistines. Come on. Listen to me good. And after they came and saw what he had done, they was in great rage, the Philistines. And they said, who has done this? And Samson stepped forth and said, the wife that I wed, she lay with my best friend. Hallelujah. So I took my offense on your land. Stories, hallelujah, but you can read it for yourself. Hallelujah. Judges 15 and 14. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistine shouted against him. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon Samson. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon Samson. And the cords were which were upon his arms. You got to understand, the Philistines tried to bind him with these cords after he had destroyed their land. Hallelujah. Thinking that if they bind his arms with all these cords, hallelujah, he wouldn't be able to break a loose. Come on. But the Bible tells us on Judges 15 and 14, hallelujah, that the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. Come on. Don't forget the spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And when the spirit of the Lord came upon Samson, the flax were burnt with fire and his, and his binds loose from his hands. If God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. And he found a new jawbone of an ass. He wasn't finished. And he put forth it in his hand. And he took it and he slew a thousand men. Therefore, if God be for you, who can be against you? I don't care. Hallelujah. What you are going through this morning. I don't care. Hallelujah. What your past represented. I don't care. Hallelujah. If anybody is against you. Hallelujah. It could be your very wife that's against you. It could be your very husband that's against you. It could be your boyfriend or girlfriend. It could even be your children. But anybody that make room for the devil, the devil will stand up in them. Amen. And it will cause you, hallelujah, to go into depression. It will cause you to have a spirit that vexes your spirit. What does vex your spirit means? It means to cripple you. It means to keep you down, feeling really bad. But if God be for you, church, if God be for you, Against you. I don't care if it's your very man. I don't care if it's your very woman. I don't care if it's your husband or your girlfriend or boyfriend, your sister or your brother, grandma, or grandpa. If God be for you, who can it be against you? If it's your boss man, co workers, employers, whoever it may be, if God be for you, who can be against you? Have mercy. God be for you. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Judges 15, 18 to the 19th verse. And he was so athirst, substant, after suing a thousand of the Philistines. He was so thirsty yes. in the desert. And called on the Lord. Uh -huh. He didn't call on his mother and father. Oh, because he wasn't a little boy anymore. On, he didn't say, Mommy, give me some water. He didn't say, Daddy, give me some water. But who did he call upon? The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. 
the Lord. Hallelujah. And thou hast given this great deliverance unto the head of thy servant. He's talking about himself. I have slew a thousand men. And now shall I die here in the desert. Hallelujah. Of thirst. I am so thirsty that my lips are burning. My lips are chapped. Hallelujah. I'm so thirsty. Hallelujah. That my throat feels like it's on fire. I am so thirsty that I don't feel no strength. I feel weak in the knees. I am so thirsty. You know when you're thirsty, you feel like you're going to pass out. Because you don't have no water. Because the body, hallelujah, they don't get any water. Hallelujah, you will pass out. Hallelujah, because you need water in your diet. That's why it's so important to drink H2O. Because water goes a long way. Water is for the blood. Water is for oxygen. Water is for clear skin. Water is for a healthy diet. If you don't drink no water, you'll have acne. If you don't drink no water, you'll fill up diabetes. If you don't drink no water, you'll die a cold very fast. You have to keep water in your diet. So Samson was thirsty. He needed some water. He didn't call mommy. He didn't call daddy. He said, Lord, hallelujah, my God, you need to tell me. I slew a thousand men of the Philistines. Now I'm going to die of thirst. Bible goes to tell us, Hallelujah! And now shall I die for thirst and fall into the land of the hands of the uncircumcised? Oh. Talking about the Philistines. Philistine. But if God clean a hollow place, uh -huh. meaning Hallelujah, He opened a hole of a hollow place that was in the jaw. Talking about the jawbone. He made a hole into the jawbone. Yes, Hallelujah. And there came out water there out. Are you listening to me good? Right. You talking about miracles and blessings. How many received their miracles and blessings this year? Hallelujah. Yes. I prophesied. I know I did. I received $20,000.
and he had drunk and his spirit came again and it, re and it revived him and then the spirit of the Lord after he drank the water the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he gathered strength you know after you eat and after you drink water after the devil and gave you a hard time hallelujah after the devil hallelujah gave you a hard time my Bible told me to tell you to drink high rain and water hallelujah cause when I saw you sad I went home and cried I said why my sister looks so old why is she walking so slow God said the devil trying to kill her the devil trying to destroy her but if God be God they gonna die first I'm gonna feel good. 
God told me to preach. But after yesterday, the devil came in and vexed my spirit. I woke up feeling it good spirits, feeling so good. But by the nightfall, the devil came in and vexed my very spirit. And God said it all right when I was laying in my bed. Hallelujah. Just about before the break of day, he said, that's all right. I'm going to still use you. Hallelujah. That's all right. I'm going to give you a story. So go back to sleep. And he gave me a story of Samson. Hallelujah. He said, you may not be a girl, a boy, and you may not be a man, but you got the strength of Samson. Hallelujah. You've been buckled, you've been shackled, you've been torn down by men, men that say they love you, men that say they want you, men that desire your body. They don't want nothing but to tear you down. They just want a piece of your goodness because it lies between your thighs. Hallelujah. The fire, hallelujah, that shut up in your bone is holiness, a righteous seed. Every man want to taste it. Every man want to feel good because you branch off and give him some. Every time you lay with a man, you give him your power. They walk away. They walk away. Powerful. Strong. Came to preach. Come on, Bishop. Yeah, 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 yeah. You preach. You better go ahead. You preach. Three o'clock this morning, he rocked me back to sleep. Come on, and he said, "I got a dream for you." Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And one of the Godites and Samson lay till midnight. Hallelujah. And he rose at midnight and he took the doors yes, of the gate of the city and the two posts and he went away with them by and all and put them upon his shoulder and carried them to the top of the hill that is before Hebron. Just like God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Except the rose at midnight. Hallelujah. And the guys out thought they were going to get him in the morning. But while they were sleeping, he rose. And he not only took the door. Hallelujah. But he took the gate and the post. The whole gate. And went up on the hill so they could see him. Hallelujah. And it was on his shoulder, good looking fella that he was, with his seven gold locks, long black gold locks, down to his waist. Hallelujah. And I can imagine that he was a 52 chest. Hallelujah. And I can imagine that he had a 30 waist. And I can imagine that his biceps and his muscles in his legs stood like Hercules. verse. 
afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek. We're talking about Judges 16 and 4. Afterwards, after that episode on the hill, a Hebron, he came down to Sorek and he met a woman named Delilah. Oh. Hallelujah. You know the story. And the lords of the Philistines came up to her and said unto her, Entice him. You know you fine. You got the presences. You got the buttocks. You got the long, beautiful hair. And you got the beautiful legs. And most of all, you got beautiful eyes and teeth. Hallelujah. And they said, you know how to entice them. You know what to do. And she saw where he was, he had great strength. That made her vulnerable. Uh -oh. She saw that he was built like Miles Jr. Uh -oh. That made her vulnerable. Oh. Can you imagine Miles Jr. with long black, jet black long locks? Like ropes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she said, My, my, my. What a sweet thing we have here. Hallelujah. And when she enticed, when he enticed Samson, Hallelujah. Samson felt hard for delight. Felt, Samson fell hard for the light. Yeah. Listen to me good. <clears throat> Hallelujah. And the lords of the Philistines came to her and said, if you get him to lie with you and prevail and, and tell him and tell you where his strength lieth, by which means we may veil against him. Meaning we will come and take him and we will kill him. Amen. That we may blind him, bind him, and, and to afflict him. And we will give thee, every one of us, not one person, but every one of us, we will give you 1100 Pieces of silk. You meant every man that was there was going to give 1,100 pieces of silk. If she just find where strength lies. How you know today, people, you know what that's all about, New Day. Yeah. Amen. They will use your family members yeah. to get the job done. Yeah. If they can't get the daddy and the mom. If they can't get hallelujah, the one that they after, they'll use family members yeah. the, to get the job of deception to bring you down. Yes, they will. The daughter to entice you. Yeah. The son to destroy you. They know you are a good, you are good for him, but he's not good for you. She knew that Samson was good for her, but she knew she wasn't good for him. No, she wasn't. She knew, hallelujah, that she was only after one thing, and that was the love of money. She knew that she had the body equipment to get what she wanted out of Samson. Hallelujah. And I want you to know, Samson put up a fight. Sure did. He didn't go down easy. He put up a fight. Hallelujah. But if God before Samson and the light of the sixth verse said to Samson, tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherein will thy mightiest be bound to afflict thee, Samson. Hallelujah. Samson gave her a riddle. And he gave her a riddle. And he gave her a riddle three times. 
He lied to her three times. Sure did. Hallelujah. And every time he would lie, the Philistines would come in and bind him. But the Spirit of the Lord will rise up on Samson and he would defeat them. Hallelujah. You would think he would get a hint and take off. But you know how love does. Because he's a man and flesh was talking. Not his heart. He knew he loved God in his heart. But the old flesh, it peeped out his head. And old flesh said, let me just lay you one more time. Let me just get some one more time. Let me just tangle in this web one more time. Let me just roll in the hay one more time. Come on, come on, Bishop. You're talking right. But he stayed there one more time. Too many. Hallelujah. Because after a while, Delilah got tired. And she laid the guilt trip on him. She put Samson in her lap. Hallelujah. And the Bible tell me she began to have pillow talk. She began to caress him. And the Bible says she urged him. Urged me. Gave him some. Hallelujah. And when she began to milk down his hair. Hallelujah. And to batter her eyes. Hallelujah. And to rub her thighs. He began to rub her thighs. He began to look and gaze and lost consciousness. Hallelujah. In that thing. Hallelujah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Have a picture and the story for you. And when he was in the vines. Hallelujah. He got dizzy. He got bewildered. Weak in the knees. He couldn't think right. And she said, oh, you done lied three times. You said you loved me all your heart. Hallelujah. If you love me, you wouldn't have lied to me, leaving a guilt trip on him. And Samson, hallelujah, he said, oh, Delilah, my pretty baby, oh, Delilah, Delilah, my sweet thing, if you cut off my hair, all of my locks, I'll be weak. Hallelujah, as men, I'll be weak as water. You can take a feather and knock me over. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 15 verse said, And she said to him, How thou say, I love you with all my heart, and not with me. Thy, hallelujah, mockest me three times and give me lies. And after, on the 16th verse, after she wore him down and words and urged him, hallelujah, his soul vexed unto death, feeling guilty. 17th verse, that he told all his heart. He told everything <laughs> unto her. He couldn't stand it no longer. The thighs got it, laying between those thighs. Then, hallelujah, came a razor upon my head. If you take a razor upon my head and cut up all my locks, hallelujah, I'll be, hallelujah, because I am a Nazareth. She said, I thought you was a Philistine. I thought you was somebody. No, I'm a Nazareth. Hallelujah, I am God's man. You never knew it. That's why I'm so strong. It don't have nothing to do with my hair. Hallelujah. It's the spirit of God that moves on me. Hallelujah. And makes me slay any man that's before me. Anything before me. If it be man or beast, I'll take it out. One time, I took a, a, a young lion, hallelujah, and I took that young lion, hallelujah, and I took the jawbone out of that young lion, hallelujah, I didn't tell my mother, and I didn't tell my father, hallelujah, but after a while, a carcass was in the stomach, and bees and honey, and I took honey and I fed my mother and father hallelujah when we were going down to 
slayed uh, a thousand men uh, of the Philistine. Uh, he was killing everything, uh, but he said, "You take a razor uh, and cut off all my locks. Uh, I won't be uh, that strong Nazareth. Uh, Hallelujah, God, uh, will depart from me, uh, and I'm in weakest water." See what? Land between the thighs will get you. Uh -oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you should be praying, should be fasting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was a Nazarene unto God. 17th verse. From my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me. And I shall become weak. And be like any other man. And the adversary, which is the devil, is not satisfied knowing he can make you weak. He's not satisfied. He wants to have strength in order to kill you. Y'all listen to me good. He's not satisfied with just making you weak. He wants to embarrass you. Hallelujah. He's not satisfied with just embarrassing you. He wants to humiliate you. Amen. Hallelujah. Before the world so they can see it. Hallelujah. So the devil's not trying to come and hurt you. Yes. He coming, hallelujah, to break your very will. Yes. He's coming to break your very heart. Yes. He's coming to take all your energy from you. He wants to leave you none and a boy. Hallelujah. He wants to make you like men, an average man. He don't want you to be like a successful man. He don't want you to be this great basketball star, but it's too late. You already won the championship. Huh? He don't want you, huh? hallelujah, to graduate from college. Huh? He will set props. Huh? Hallelujah. He will set everything in front of you. Huh? He don't want you to be a strong, able-bodied man. Huh? He wants you to be this female. Huh? When you're a man, huh? he wants you to change your anatomy. Huh? When you're a man, almost to a woman. Huh? Hallelujah. But Samson huh? had a long locks huh? and a uh, 52 chests. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. He built up like Miles Jr. Yes. He wasn't trying to switch over. <laughs> he didn't have no wiggle in his walk. Uh, he didn't have no hallelujah capatana in his wrist. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he was trying uh, his best uh, to be a God's man. Uh, but he got entangled. Uh, he got entangled uh, with Delilah. Uh, he got the wrong woman. Uh, like some of you uh, don't wait on God, uh, you give it the wrong woman, uh, hallelujah, uh, and the wrong man, uh, get back, uh, hallelujah, uh, try to please your flesh. You know like we do, yes. trying to please our flesh, yes. but trying to please your flesh will get you blind, all messed up. All trying to please your flesh will get you embarrassment. You'll come up blind. You'll end up in prison. You better read the story. You better read the story. The devil wants to humiliate you. So the world can see it. That you are not saved. That you never had the Holy Ghost. You never was anointed. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. You're not holy. You're just making believe. Yes. You're just pretending. Come on. You are fake and phony. That's what the devil wants to make you out of. Come on. You are just like the rest of us. Hallelujah. Human. Hallelujah. And after he get his point across of humiliation, then he goes in for the kill. Yes. Oh, yeah. 19 verse says, and when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, oh. she went, she sent, and called for the Philistines, saying, come up this once. Don't you dilly-dally. Don't you procrastinate. Come up all at once. For 
he has shown me his heart. He has told me his guts. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and brought money in her hand. And she made him sleep upon his knees. And she called for a man. She's a bad mama Gemma. She made him fall asleep on his knees. Good God Almighty. She's a bad woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Made him sleep on his knees. And she called for a man. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him. And his strength went from him. And the 20th verse says, And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And she, she had a nerve to shake her and say, The Philistines is here, Samson, like she didn't have nothing to do with it. You like the devil do. Devil don't weaken you. Devil ain't came and made a fool out of you. Then he come back and tell his people, Oh, she ain't saved. There she is. She ain't saved. There he is. That's how the devil do you. Embarrass you, humiliate you. That's what he wants to do. Y'all better listen to me. Amen. Y'all better listen to me. Hallelujah. This is a good old message. Hallelujah. You know what that is? That's the enemy not wanting me to get this message across. I couldn't care if I had to crawl on this floor. I'm going to preach about Samson this morning because God told me to. I don't care if I have bronchitis or pneumonia and couldn't catch my breath. I would do it in between breath. As long as I get the message across. Know who you messing with, devil? Amen. Hey, my God, a one. All right now. Like Dana said, she's his cousin. She's his cousin. <laughs> I love Dana. It's my baby. Amen. He shaved off, and then, Hallelujah. And she said, "The Philistines is upon these sins. Wake up! Wake up! Wake out of your sleep. I will go out." This is what he said to Delilah. I will go out and shake myself. Get myself together. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to come upon me. He went out and shook himself. But he didn't know God had left him. Read the 19th verse and the 20th verse. God had left him. Yes, they did. They talking about God won't leave you. God left Samson. Sure did. Said in the 20th verse. God said the Lord departed from him. Sure but the Philistines took him and put out his eyes. There go the embarrassment. Uh -huh. There go the humiliation. Yep. They could have killed him. He was weak as what? Sure but they didn't want to do that. Nope. Satan don't want to do that. Nope. Satan wants to parade around all the new day. Satan wants to parade around your bishop. Look at your son. Your son's a homosexual. Your son is uh, going against the word of God. Hallelujah. My son hallelujah, is a member of this church. If, if a member of this church is a homosexual, it's not because the word is not preached. It's not because the word is not taught. That's something he chose to do. Amen. Just like Samson decided to sleep between those thighs. There's something he decided to do. But that don't mean God is not going to deliver him. Amen. That doesn't mean that God is finished with him. Yeah. That doesn't mean that God has turned his back on him. Yeah. Amen. Remember, I'm still bishop. That's right. That's right. I still know to fast and pray. Amen. I still know how to live right. Amen. I don't care what's thrown at me. I don't care what's thrown at me. I don't care what's thrown at me. I'm not going to give up my Holy 
Ghost. I'm not going to give up my body. I'm not going to give up my God. Not for you, 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 nobody. Keep trying. See where you get. Amen. You messing with Samson. Sister. Samsonetta. Hallelujah. But the Philistines took him and put his eyes out and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass and he did grind in the prison house. Not only does he want to embarrass you by blinding your eyes, but he wants to put you in prison. Hallelujah. He is not happy until he do it. You know what I'm talking about, Leroy. Hallelujah. Because they did that to you. They're not happy that you're walking around in this earth. They're not happy, hallelujah, that you're playing the organ and praising the Lord. But they want to embarrass you, humiliate you, stick you in prison. Say that you are a sinner, that you're not of God. Say that you are a sinner just like them. You're not of God. Where is your God now? Come on, come on, bitch. Uh, make fun. Yeah, they did. Made a sport out of Samson. Amen. Made a mockery. Yes, it did. Hallelujah. The average servant devil will mess you up. Yes, he will. Can't get a decent job. Can't care for your family. Can't care for your wife and children. You lose all your wife, your children, your money. Cause you're in prison. Left lose your self-esteem. Come on. Lose your dignity. And most of all, lose your God. Uh-oh. Amen. But if God be for you, Amen. listen to me good. But if God be for you. They didn't know. Philistines didn't know. Delilah didn't know. Not even Samson knew. But if God be for you. Yeah. Paul knew. But if God be for you. Yeah. He's more than a whole world against you. Yeah. My children. How do my members? Yeah. My grandpappy. My grandmama. Yeah. They all may be against me. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I'm going to stand on the mountaintop. Hallelujah. And I'm a clam. Hallelujah. God be for me. He's more than a whole world against me. I want the church to know. Hallelujah. After Simpson was humiliated. After they had blinded his eyes. And after they had brought him down to the prison house. Hallelujah. They began to poke and make fun of him. They began to stick fire to him. They began to throw rocks at him. They began to him. Uh, they begin to make fun of him. Uh, but they didn't notice. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that his hair. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, went to his shoulder. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, they didn't notice. Uh, that his hair. Uh, went to his middle of his back. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, they didn't notice. Uh, that his hair. Uh, went back down. Uh, to his waist. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, say yeah. Say yeah. Hallelujah. They got a little football field. A serena. Hallelujah. You don't know like the football field. Hallelujah. Of the Patriots. It was big like a serena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like that. Like arena. Hallelujah. Arena. And it took the lords of the Philistines. Hallelujah. And they said, hallelujah, the God of Dagon, which is the Philistine's God, is still here. And he's defeated the Samson of great strength. Hallelujah. And they took Samson and they put him in the middle, hallelujah, of the two posts of the arena. Hallelujah. They put 3,000 uh, men and women uh, in the balcony. Uh, hallelujah. But the Lord uh, was right in front. Uh, hallelujah. And the little boy uh, was a little lad uh, that was looking on steps 
attention. Uh, they was not paying him any attention. Hallelujah. And the little boy came over to Samson, felt so sorry for him. And Samson said to the lad in his ear, lead me to the post. Hallelujah. Put my hand, my right hand on the right post. Put my left hand on the left post. Hallelujah. And the little lad ran off and he said, God, hallelujah, of my mother and father, God of Nazareth, hallelujah, if you would avenge me of the Philistines for blinding my eyes, hallelujah, just give me the strength, hallelujah, to die with my enemies, say yeah, say yeah, if God be for you, he's more in the world I'll kiss you they didn't know that that God you call Jesus they didn't know that that God hallelujah of the Holy Ghost was with Samson all the time he was with him in his misery in his suffering in his downfall he was still with him hallelujah hallelujah and he granted him Hallelujah. And the spirit of the Lord moved and moved. Hallelujah. Samson and the pillar. Hallelujah. And the pillar began to shake. And the Philistines didn't notice a thing. Then his left pillar began to shake. They still didn't notice. And all of a sudden, on the third push, he began whoop, and pushed and the ceiling and the arena hallelujah and all the lords and thousand women thousand men hallelujah begin to tumble and die with Samson he died with his enemies but he rose with God Amen. 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 Why did you say he rose? Because when God crossed the sky, hallelujah, the spirit that steps in has is going to rise again. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Samson, hallelujah, is like you today. We get weak as water. When we're messing with something we ain't got no business. Come on, Bishop. Amen. Now that's the truth. Your weak as water. That's the truth, Bishop. When you're jiggling around in sex. Yep. Come on, come playing on. around. You know how men show do. Show Young you. boys, they want to see if they gay or not. Ooh. They mingle around and get caught up in that mess. Oh, and they watch porno. My son talks to me. He watch porno every day. I said, so you were doing everything I told you not to do. He said, I sure was. I love watching porno. I said, that's why your mind's filled with all the lust and all the dirt and all the... See, Kirk Franklin told the story. Sure did. And they did. still didn't get it. They still didn't get it. 11 years old, he found his uncle's magazines. Mm -hmm. Watching porno will corrupt your very mind. Amen. On the porno, they use diapers, nipples, chains. Use they use everything. Oh, yeah. I don't watch porno before. When I was 20 years old, hallelujah, with my husband. And they use everything. And he said, are you enticed? Are you feeling kind of nasty? Do you like the way the women are doing, or do you like it with the men? I say, I don't like it, I want to vomit. I want to vomit when I see a woman eating a woman, I want to vomit. I want to vomit when I see a man kissing a man. I want to vomit. I was 20 years old. On Broadway. Because they used to have a, a theater. Anybody know about that? Any of you know about that? 
Yeah. Yeah. Did on Broadway. Back in the day. Back in the day. Wow. In the 80s, I went, he took me there. And I saw the movie. And God told me to tell this. And when I saw it, instead of it teaching me how to make love oh, God. By, by, with a lesbian and with a gay, it taught me to throw up. Oh, it taught me how to throw up. Because <laughs> I literally threw up. Oh, he had to take me home. Because <laughs> I didn't like it. And he said, I was just showing you and brought you there so you get used to sexual ways. I said, I don't need that. All I need is you. All you got to do is teach me and I'll do it because I'm your wife. You didn't have to show me and bring me to a movie house and show me porno. That's what's wrong with men and women today. They expose their children. They expose their teenagers. They expose their mind and their self to all these games and all these toys, hallelujah, to use in the bedroom. It don't take all of that. Amen. It don't take all of that. Amen. If you need a whip to whip my hand, my behalf for me to get stimulated, then you ain't the man. Sure you ain't the man. Sure. What you packing should stimulate me. Sure. Amen. What you drop should stimulate me. What you showing should stimulate me. What you swinging should stimulate me. You don't need no movie to get the job done. You don't need no whip to get the job done. Amen. You don't need no liquor license to no. get the job done. Sure don't. All you have to do is show your wife. Tell your wife. Show your husband. Tell your husband. That's what's wrong with you. You don't have no communication. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I know why you don't like Bishop Ben. I know exactly why. And you ain't never going to like me. You can take it all the way to your grave if you want to. You ain't going to never like me. I will school you and educate you when it comes to the 66 books. Amen. Amen. I have lived it, done that. I have been through everything and then some. I have been through so many stories that I dare not even tell you because you will look at me and run. <laughs> and say, that's not possible. Amen. But I have. Only God knows that's right. all the things I have been through. Yep. Amen. I have been through rape and everything. Amen. You ain't got to tell me. I know how it feels to be raped. I know how it feels to have a person how to hold you down. Hallelujah, make love to you. Hallelujah, and you don't want to. Come on. Force it to on you. Come on. And got a thing that long. Oh, what? what? <laughs> and you burn it. Shh. Ain't no lubrication. Because you don't want it. So you burn it. And then you got to go home. And soak in a tub for two weeks. To get some comfort. You don't tell me nothing about nothing because I've been there and had it done to me. Oh, my God. Trying to school me. You can take another course. You may live 20 years again because God then had me go through everything Amen. to educate you, to try to save you. It is for a reason. I thought it was because of Bishop Hammer. It wasn't because of Bishop Hammer. My father had to die. I had to come on the scene to save the church. Because the church would have been lost. They'd have been backsliding in hell for. But God said, I'm going to raise up a Joshua. It may not be your son. It's going to be your daughter. I had to become. I had to come here. God told me that last night. I had to come on the scene to save the church. Backsliding half. Hallelujah. Say amen. 
how big the hair of his head began to grow. 27 verse, 25th verse, they made sport of him, laughing. 26 verse, 27 verse. Now the house fell up all of them, and Samson died with his enemies. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lot of times, we will die with our enemies. And we don't want to. But you know what? Down with your enemies. Because you're going to get the last laugh. Amen. Amen. Stick on in there with them. They don't know that the Lord is really on your side. They think you're playing church like they are. Amen. Let them keep on thinking that. Yes. I don't care where they go. Who they got to tell. It don't matter to me no more. I'm almost 60. Yeah. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Don't nothing move me. I don't care about nothing no more. You can ask me and I'll tell you my sleep. I don't care about nothing no more. I'm almost 60. I'm here for Jesus Christ and him crucified. There you go. Amen. That's it. I couldn't care. As yes. long as I get some chunky monkey, yes, oxtails and collard greens, yes, I'm all set. Amen. I'm all set. You know why? Because if God be for me, he's more than a world against me. Amen. 